coming up on Cardinals Insider. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be a part of this Hall of Fame. We take a look back at Cardinals Hall of Fame weekend. Plus, the first pitch to Herr, and he hits it a mile. Tommy Herr could have a grand slam. Tommy oh, Herr does. It was an era of great games and great personalities. Get some insights on the Cards Mets 80s rivalry from some of the men who took part in it. And later, just crazy, it all just happened really fast. Man, you walk into a team in the big leagues that has a chance, and a couple years later, you're world champs. Hear from David Freeze, who has returned to Bush as an alum. All those stories and more ahead on Cardinals Insider. Welcome to Cardinals Insider, I'm Ozzie Smith. On August 21st, Keith Hernandez, John Tudor, Tom Herr, and Bill White were inducted into the Cardinals Hall of Fame. Hernandez was a class of 2021. The other three finally got their day after COVID postponed the 2020 ceremony. Here's a look back at some highlights from Hall of Fame weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Together Credit Union Plaza at Ballpark Village for the 2021 St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame induction ceremony. <laughs> now to accept our first plaque representing Bill White is his teammate Tim McCarver. Give him a huge round of applause, please. You talk about tough. I mean, this guy was one tough cookie. Respected by everybody. And I mean everybody and he got together with the owners, and it worked. Bill White sandwiched together everybody to make it work. He led the club to the 1985 National League pennant and remains the team's ERA leader, the best in Cardinals history. Please welcome John Tudor. It really struck me how permanent a moment like this is. As players, we come and go. But as a Hall of Famer, we will be forever linked to the St. Louis Cardinals. And I think I can live with that. Provided steady defense at second base, consistent offense. And let's not forget the night that he made those seat cushions fly at Bush Stadium too. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Herr. To me, I think this Hall of Fame recognition is a validation by you, the fans, for the way that I played the game, and for that I'm grateful. National League co-MVP, Silver Slugger, Gold Glove winner, World Series champion, and of course, you may have noticed he did a little acting in his post-playing career too. Cardinals Hall of Famer, ladies and gentlemen, Keith Hernandez. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be a part of this Hall of Fame. I can't tell you. To grow up as a kid in Pacifica, California, being a Cardinal fan, and then wearing the Cardinal uniform, and then being on a world championship team as well, uh, is just, and now the Hall of Fame is just the cherry on top. So thank you very much. How about one more hand for our inductees? John Tudor, Tommy Herr, Keith Hernandez. Now, please welcome our 2021 St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame induction class. Pretty special. I'm not sure it's really set in yet. It's a great honor, and, it, and it's uh, certainly something I don't take lightly. I'm kind of just taking, trying to take it all in and uh, savor, savor the moment. You know, last name Hernandez, we're a little emotional. I'm going to try to hold it together, but I, right now, I'm, uh, I just couldn't be a happier man. Cardinals team historian Brian Finch is one of the main architects of Hall of Fame weekend. This year, he wore a mic during induction day. This 
see you. Hey, Keith, welcome. Thank you, sir. Everything being taken care of for you? Great. Very excited. So this is part of the fun. Hopefully you've seen some old friends. I have seen some old friends. Met some new ones. I got my family all together. My family hasn't been together like this in ages. So it's funny. You got a mic on? I do have a mic on. Okay. What would you like to get on the mic? <laughs> Taking care of you, seen all the, good seen food. the Hall of Famers and good food, yeah. kind of getting the feel of it. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. sounds good. We just want to make sure you're taken care of. Yeah. Did you you saw Whitey, right? Yeah, I, I said Whitey. Well, Perfect. Well, I, I told him he had to be the most excited person here today, right? <laughs> he's putting like his fantasy team together in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> all right, you know you're my guy. So I better be your guy. I'm not telling everybody else that, but, but we got a hot mic right now, so now the world knows. <laughs> now the world knows. Carp, carp rolling. Yep, that's it. <laughs> On this side. People make cheesy oh, right, uh, rolls. Yeah, they can take that. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All the way through. Hands crossed. Hands crossed. Congratulations, sir. Enjoy this. We're waiting for you right there. Yeah. You're part of the club now. All right, this way, congratulations again. Have fun. They're here to greet you all the way down the line. All right. Woo! Follow Joe, follow Joe. Great job, great job, great job. All right, that's a wrap. Let's head to the suite and eat. Straight ahead on Cardinals Insider. The, the rivalry between the Mets and the Cardinals was unbelievable. Cardinals Mets was never lacking for intrigue. 380's Cardinals talk about the rivalry after the break. Also coming up. Just crazy how much uh, a month, a week, a night can really affect uh, yourself or somebody in your family. He authored A Moment for the Ages and he's made his homecoming to St. Louis. Hear from David Freeze later on in the show. The Cardinals and Mets battled throughout the 1980s. Three of the four inductees from this year's Cards Hall of Fame class participated in the rivalry. In fact, Keith Hernandez and Tom Herr each played for the Mets at one point. Here's more on those classic showdowns from an inside perspective. When we grew up, it was the always, uh, when we were Cardinals, it was the Cubs and the Cardinals were the rivalry. There was no better and fierce rivalry than the Mets and uh, the Cardinals. 85, 86, and 87, there was no fiercer rivalry. It was just so much fun to play. The first pitch to Hur, and he hits it a mile. Tommy Hur could have a grand slam. Tommy oh! Hur does! 48,000 delirious fans here at Bush Stadium. It was a tremendous rivalry. There's, there's no doubt about it. When you, when you look back, you know we won it. We won and went to the World Series in '85. The Mets went in '86. We went back in '87. The Mets were in '88. So, for a four-year span there, it was, uh, it was either the Mets or the Cardinals going, uh, representing the National League in the World Series. The, the rivalry between the Mets and the Cardinals was unbelievable. It were two teams that I, I don't want to say legitimately didn't like each other because because I, I don't I think there was a mutual respect on both sides but there was always billboard material going into one city or the other from one team or the other talking smack in the newspaper but it always gave the a little bit added incentive uh when you were playing against the Mets or or I'm sure vice versa I think our mentality was always that uh you know you, we, we knew we were going to play the Mets 18 games and and basically, we, we felt like if we could just split with them, you know, just hold our own against them, you know, we liked our chances because uh, the years where we were successful, we played the bad teams better than the Mets played them. You know, we, we always played, the Mets played us very tough. They always went down to a, an extra inning home run or, or, uh, or you know, I, I remember, you know, uh, beating them a couple of times, one nothing on late inning home runs. and. And then, and then Strawberry hit one off the clock in St. Louis to beat us at the end of 85. It was like, wow, uh, just, they were just great games. They were fun games. The, with the lineup that the Mets had and with, God, with the pitching staff that they had, their pitching staff was unbelievable. And um, they were just always good series. Pendleton hits it. 
Hits the long one in the center field. Get out of here. Wilson going here. back. You guys came in in 87, you're on that losing streak in September. And we beat you the first game, and you came back, we had the lead, and Pendleton got the big home run. And that injected life into the Cardinals. If we had them beat, that turned that whole month of September around. Those two years were unbelievable pennant races, and I'll never, never forget. Still to come. Breeze hits it in the air to center. We will see you tomorrow night. We will see you after the break to catch up with this card's legend. Stay with us. David Freeze made his official return to Bush Stadium for a Bud Bash on August 17th. The St. Louis native is participating in several alumni activities this year as he begins his tenure as a Cardinals alum. Here's more from his first official trip through St. Louis as a former player. Well, hard to believe that it's been a decade since the 2011 Cardinals forced their way into the postseason and then went on that magic run in October. This guy had a little something to do with that, and he's back at Bush tonight as we speak for his very first engagement uh, as an official a Cardinals alumni. David, uh, what's it like, man, to be back here in St. Louis at Bush Stadium taking all this in? Yeah, it's like I can't stop thinking about how it's been 10 years. <laughs> um, a lot's happened. Uh, but the love and support of everybody in the city, uh, this organization, it hasn't changed. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's emotional for sure thinking about it. Ozzy Smith hosts our show, and I heard that you specifically said, hey, if Ozzy could catch my first pitch, that would be pretty cool. Uh, why was he the guy out of, I mean, all the Cardinals alumni in town, that was the guy that you, you chose? Uh, Ozzy was just the guy that I grew up watching. He was my favorite player. Um, you know, I pitched growing up, but I played a lot of shortstop. Um, you know, he, he was the guy that you wanted to impersonate in the, in the backyard or on, on the field, you know, taking grounders and barehanded balls. But, uh, you know, a little time I've been around him when I was a Cardinal, he's just a class act. David Freeze, of course, a St. Louis native, graduate of Lafayette High School, going to the mound here at Bush Stadium for a first pitch to Ozzie Smith. Let's hear it, everybody. The fact that he can come back around even after catching Maroon and, and um, do this for me, um, it's great. It's real special. This game creates a lot of great stories. One of my favorites is how you came to join the organization. I think people sometimes forget you were drafted by the Padres, got traded over here for Jim Edmonds, and that started in a Burger King. Is that that correct? Yeah, I was uh, like outside of L.A. Um, Mo, Mo called me, and I talked to him, and I remember one of my first questions was, for who? Because I knew, you know, I was in a high A, going to double A, triple A, hopefully, and you know, seeing who I could potentially play with. And then he said, said Jim Edmonds, and I was crushed, you know, because I didn't know in a couple years if he's still going to be there and, and maybe I get to play with him because I loved watching him. And, you know, that was, that was oh, you know, 07, 08, you know, wearing the jersey, the birds on the bat, having a chance to play for a team that, that wants to win. Just crazy. It all just happened really fast. I mean, you walk into a team in the big leagues that has a chance, and a couple years later, you're world champs. In the right, well hit. At the wall, it's off the wall. One run scores. Here comes Buckman. Freeze has tied it. Did you sleep on a buddy's couch before game six? I was moving apartments right before the postseason, and I had like a three week wait for cable. So my buddy Dan Kriegshauser, who I went to Merrimack with, um, I slept on his couch every night we were home um, that, whole, that whole run, that whole October. 3-2 delivery, swing and a high drive to center field. Get up, baby. Oh, yeah, David Fries has just sent us in the game number seven. This series is tied. 3-3 three, three with a walk-off home run here in the bottom of the 11th inning. After game six, went back there. I didn't sleep at all. It was crazy just uh, trying to figure out what just happened. Um, but you don't even need sleep before game seven. Here she comes. Swing a high drive into left. Back goes the crank. He has it, and the Cardinals are world champion for 2011. We're going to have a bunch of guys from that 2011 team in September 18th. going to be a lot of fun here, so definitely Cardinals.com. Make sure that you get your tickets and you're here. What are you looking forward to most 
about that group being back together. Probably the most of you guys that have been together in a, a decade. Yeah, you're right. Definitely the first time that we'll all be back together. Um, I think just sharing the moment with, with uh, who was involved, and that includes the fans. It's just crazy how much uh, a month, a week, a night can really affect uh, yourself or somebody in your family. Um, it, it, it's fun. You'll be talking a lot about that Game 6 moment, obviously, uh, hoisting the trophy at the end of the World Series. But tell us what you're doing today. You're living in Austin, Texas, and, and how are you passing the time? Yeah, just hanging out in Austin. Uh, got a couple boys. Kai's almost four, and, and Cato just turned one. Last year and even this year, it's, it's you know, kind of been a little different. You know, but we're just working, th working through it all and just raising kids and having, having a good time down there. David, thanks so much for your time. David Freeze, Brett McMillan, and there's more Cardinals Insider after the break. All season long, we're honoring Mike Shannon for his 50 years in the broadcast booth. In 2014, Mike became a member of the inaugural Cardinals Hall of Fame class. Let's take a listen to some of his induction speech. Our second inductee today. I think we know that voice pretty well, don't we? He's been a part of the Cardinals family for the last 56 years. He has played in World Series, He's broadcast World Series for the ball club, Mike Shannon. To be inducted into the uh, Cardinal Hall of Fame with uh, such great people up here is what this Cardinal organization is all about. And uh, a guy from St. Louis, born and reared here, you know, I think this is uh, my city, my state, and my Cardinals. <laughs> to think that all the great players that I got to play with, you know, Stan Musial, Bob Gibson, uh, all of these uh, great players, uh, Lou Brock, and then all of the uh, phenomenal players that I got to uh, call the games with, and they go on and on and on. That's what the Cardinal organization is all about. That's what St. Louis is all about. This is a wonderful city and a wonderful organization, and I am so proud to be a part of it. This organization belongs to the fans. We just enjoy it. We're here for a short period of time and try to enhance it in any way we can. And hopefully I've done that over the years. God bless you, thanks. And still to come, you ask, I answer. It's Ask Ozzy after the break. It's time for this week's Ask Ozzy. Alexa in Davenport, Iowa asked, what was it like to play with Vince Coleman and Willie McGee? As you can imagine, Alexa, it was a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. We won a lot, you know, so that made it a lot easier. Before I started hitting up in the, in the lineup, I hit eight, so I had a chance to watch Willie and Vince on the bases at the same time. And if you're a Cardinal fan, then you know that if there was a base hit or an extra base hit, it was fun watching those guys run the bases. One of the amazing things about Vince was the fact that if they threw over to first base 15 times, on the 16th time he could steal second base. Willie and I came over in the spring of 1980. That was our first year together. When David Green got hurt, Willie was called up and Willie ended up staying with me that season and two years later he was still there. You know, So uh, I call him a moocher. Um, he didn't know when to leave and he's one of my best friends to this day. Thanks for the question, Alexa. If you want to submit a question, head to cardinals.com slash insider and click the Ask Ozzy tab. There's more still to come here on Cardinals Insider, so don't go anywhere. Tom Hur was my double play partner for parts of seven seasons, and he suited up for the Cardinals for 10 years overall. During this week's Redbird Reels, we take a look back at his red jacket worthy career. One two pitch on the way. Ground ball skips well, off the mound. Her to second. Over to first, the double play. You talk oh, about some antics. The best double play combination in the game, right there, folks. Trouble. He's got trouble. I tell you, that was a good, good play. Her to Ozzie. That's one on to Lindemann, a double play. Pendleton, short hop. What a play to her. One out on to first, a double play. Chop to her. He feeds Ozzie, who throws to Lindemann. The third double play. Big side, Tommy Hurd, Ozzie Smith. The 
St. Louis Cardinals are world champions for the ninth time. Fans, they loved us back then. Well, that was Whitey Ball. That was the Whitey era. And, you know, that'll go down. And that'll be remembered forever in Cardinal history. To be a part of that, made to feel so special every time we come back, is really something that I, I value and cherish a lot. Tommy Hurd hit into a force play, single to drive in a run. How typical of him. Gorman Thomas goes back. As he wants to score all the way from second on a sacrifice fly. And he does. Tommy two, there is a lesson they can't do. One and two. That'll get the run in. It's a base hit for her. And it's two to one. RBI 17 for Tommy Hurd. You know, winning was the was the paramount thing you know it wasn't it wasn't about individual stats so much as let's just find a way to win this game line drive face hit in comes Okendo in comes Coleman Smith to third six nothing St. Louis there's one a long one Tommy Hur and the Cardinals have the lead And the fastball hit the deep left field, way back. Johnson to the wall, and it's out of here. A grand slam home run. And the Cardinals win it as Tommy Hurt has hit a grand slam home run to win the ball game. That's it for today. You can watch on this station each week or catch full episodes on YouTube. Plus, we're always online at cardinals.com insider. Until next time, I'm Ozzie Smith, and I'll see you next week.